It's really amazing how much stuff I get crammed into these cabinets. <laughs> Walking down these dirty streets takes me back to memories of you and me. Oh, you know, there's another windstorm outside, and I'm about to start cooking some dinner on the Kimberly. I just love the fact that I know that even if the power goes out, it's not going to affect me. And even if I have four flat tires and I run out of gas and run out of propane, I can still heat and cook food. That's pretty awesome. That's what being off grid is all about. Tracing all my steps, I fall back to watching starlight just you and me. Oh, yeah. Young, we held yep, the it's past the time. In our hearts and our hands breaking every rule we can. Hi, baby. What you looking at? My heart explodes. Good girl. Hey. My heart yeah. explodes. All right, so one of the best things about this stove is the placement and how I wanted this designed so that it's part of the living room, even if you have the bed made into a couch, which I rarely ever do and probably never will because it's just like a big ass couch when it's like this with my big pillows. But if I push it in for a couch, you've got even more floor space and the fireplace is there. And when the bed's out, the fireplace is there without taking up too much room. It's got plenty of clearance. You don't have to worry about it getting too close to things. And you can still walk through to the cab through the door I have in the cab. But the best part is this. When I lie down in bed, put my feet up and watch some movies, my feet are literally right by the fireplace. Like, how can this not be any better in the winter? You can warm up your feet on the fireplace and when you go to sleep and turn off all the lights, all you see is the flame. It is just magical in here. I would not trade it for anything. I can tell you now that I've sold Dora, but many, many times when I was in Dora, in the back of my head, I was taking measurements with the measuring tape and everything, and I was always thinking, I wonder if I can get this Kimberly in Dora somehow. And yes, it could have been done, but uh, it would have been a lot and I mean a lot of work and it would have been really tight uh, clearances um, almost dangerously tight uh, almost uncomfortably tight and it would have been too much heat for that small space too but yes I mean all I need now is a stick uh, with hot dog wieners or marshmallows on the end of it and I could literally roast marshmallows <laughs> and eat them in bed while watching movies this is what I call Rockin' in the free world, ladies and gentlemen. Take me back to Keep on rockin'